All right, what we're gonna do is take a look at how to make navigation tabs along the side of your Google slide presentation so people could quickly jump from one slide to the next, to the next, to the next, uh, kind of like tabs in a recipe cookbook or something like that. Um, I had a video just like this before, but I left a key piece out. So this is the updated version. And to get started here, I'm gonna go to the shape tool. And in the shapes, I'm going to pick the uh, this guy right here, the round same side corner rectangle shape. And I'm just gonna draw that and I'm gonna call this overview. All right, so this will be our first tab and you can click on this and you know, rotate it and just throw it up here on the top. And I'm just gonna duplicate this, Control D duplicates. And I'm gonna call this one, uh, these different slides are like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm gonna call this Mun and I'm actually gonna make this slide a little bit smaller doesn't have to be that big, uh, this tab, I mean. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna duplicate this for Tuesday and then all the way to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all right? And I have that done right here. And when you do this, don't be, a, don't be a, you know concerned if your tabs don't go all the way down to the bottom. It's very easy to highlight these and then just drag them down and get them to fit so they take up the entire screen. I'm not gonna do that for right now, uh, the next piece, once you get all these tabs made, is to hyperlink them to different sections of your presentation. So I'm going to click on the shape. Don't click on the text. Click on the shape and hyperlink that by pressing Control-K or by pressing the hyperlink button over here. So I'm going to press Control-K. And in here, when you do the slides in this presentation, you get the option for this slide one. Okay, I'm going to pick that because that's going to go to slide one. And then this one's going to go to slide two, all right. And then you're gonna continue that out all the way. The next one's gonna to go to slide three, uh, four, five, and six. What we want to do then, when I copy these, I'm gonna highlight them and press Control C to copy. After I do that, you can pull these down to make them stretch all the way. Uh, when I go to my second slide and I hit paste, Control V, you'll notice now, if I wanna navigate back to overview, it actually changes this to slide two. It's almost like it's linked not to the first slide, but linked to whatever slide it was on when that link was created. So it's almost like linked to this slide. When you paste to avoid this, I want you to come down to this uh, clipboard and go to keep source formatting. All right, and when you do that, now this will be paste back to slide one. So I'm gonna highlight all of these press control C to copy them. I'm gonna drag this down and I'm gonna come into Tuesday and I'm gonna hit paste. I'm gonna say keep source formatting. I'm gonna drag all these down. All right, and let's do this again for Wednesday and you get the idea now. Um, you wanna make sure you hit keep source formatting so that one, that first hyperlink doesn't change to the current slide you're on. And you can see now this still says uh, week one, sorry. This is slide two, slide three, slide four, and slide five. Um, let's go ahead and just finish this up. All right, now, if you're giving this to your students to navigate, that's fine. Uh, if they have editing rights or viewing rights, but if you're sending the published view to parents, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Um, oops. You wanna drag down at the end because otherwise it's hard to click on this clipboard. All right, so if you send it to students with editing rights or viewing rights, this is fine this way. But if you're gonna send it to parents, what I would recommend doing is go to file, publish to the web, and then go hit hit publish. I already did this and grab this URL. And now you'll see when I navigate to this site, I lose those tabs, I can't see them. So what you're going to want to do is put them onto the slide. So just highlight them all and just use your arrow keys to drag them over. You have to adjust that text box there as well. Um, you lose a little bit of space here, but that's fine, I think. It makes it easier for parents. Uh, and do that for the rest of these. And now when they go to their slides, they can quickly go to, oh, I wanna see what's on Monday. I'm on Monday. Now I can go back to the overview. I can go back to the overview. I can see what's on Tuesday um, and so forth. All right.